tell me about uh, working with the Coen brothers again and digging deep into the 60s folk scene. How amazing was that? Well, th working with the Coens is the most amazing thing I it's, it's, you know it's it's the best it's the best part of life for me at this point and because you know I love making music and I love listening to music I love I'm a musician and I love the music world but I to be able to to be able to put music and image together and to have these images be this profound you know there's no there's no shot there's no shot in any Coen Brothers movie I've ever seen that doesn't have history in mm -hmm. it that, that there's not a reason for that shot and and Oftentimes, the reason that you can re that you can relate to, you know what they're talking about, you know why they're there, and so. It's, but at any rate, there's no coast. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. every moment they fill every frame with as much uh, with love. Yeah, and what's great about this film is that um, you know it's so much more than a soundtrack. Obviously, like Oh Brother, the music is integral to the story, but uh, in this case, we get to see entire performances, yeah. which is really unusual for a narrative. It is. It's, it is crazy. And, you know, th uh, I've, I've been thinking about this today because we've been talking about it all day, but if any other, if any other a director could come to me and said, we want to do a film about a folk singer, and we want to do three, four-minute whole songs, and we want to do it live, Without any click tracks, we just wanted to. We just want to shoot it like a documentary. I would have said, "Don't do it. You're out of your minds." You know? But with them, you just say, "Let's go. That sounds fantastic." <laughs> because you just because you know they can pull it off. Yeah. You know? It's <clears throat> it's the riskiest to make a music film. That is absolutely the riskiest thing you can do. But risk is what separates the the artist from the artisan, and they certainly fall on the artist side of that. Yeah. Well, you're a perfect partner for them. Um, Let's, let's talk about uh, the discovery, well, not the discovery, but the finding of Lewin Davis in Oscar for you. And, and um, I'm, I'm sure you were, I mean, you said he's the real deal and as good as any studio musician you work with. Well, he, he's, yeah, well, I wouldn't say, say, say And say his name, sorry. <coughs> oh, yeah. Well, Oscar, what I would say about Oscar is he's, he's just flat good. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's it's a, a rare person that can both act be an actor and a musician. It's, there are very few people, if you think about it, how many have there been? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Fred Astaire, mm -hmm. you know, Bing Crosby, you know, Justin maybe, you know, I, th I think Justin maybe is gonna be like Bing Crosby, he may, he's got a shot at that. Mm -hmm. But this thing, this level of acting, this is like, you know, Brando level acting, and it's like Brando level singing, too. I mean, or, you know, whatever you would like. Uh, <clears throat> who's a good folk singer from that time? Tom Paxton, or, you know, it's like, I wouldn't say it's devil, D Dylan level singing, because it's a whole other thing, right? It's right, a, yeah. Dylan, Dylan's doing it, he's a, he's a sorcerer or something. <laughs> this is another thing. It was very cool, and it's, uh, it was a great privilege to see the film and hear the music. Um, Want to ask you about the uh, the concert uh, another day another time um, getting together those artists and and um, now it's going to air on Showtime and everything. Well, this is uh, the the idea is the, I, the, this music this folk music continues to be reinvented, and this is a about a period of time when folk music was just getting ready to be invent reinvented by uh, you know an avatar of a musical avatar and. Uh, we're in a time. We're in a similar time, a more conscious time, because because of the way reality is the the path reality's taken. But we're in a time where there's a whole extraordinary group of young musicians who are reinventing this music again, as Dylan did in the mm -hmm. '60s. And uh, and so we wanted to there, there, because <clears throat> the electronic universe has, has dismantled the whole structure that went before it without replacing it with anything, <clears throat> these young musicians have no platform. And there aren't clubs anymore, and there aren't, you know, there's not the, there's not the infrastructure. So we, one of the things we wanted to do in the, in the wake of this movie is to build a platform for these extraordinary Punch Brothers and Rhiannon Giddens and Milk Carton Kids and the Secret Sisters and the, the, mm -hmm. the extraordinary acts, the young acts on, uh, you know, the Avett brothers and Mumford and Sons, of course, but there, there's a whole range of extraordinary young musicians with no place to play and nobody listening, you know. So that's the problem. Everybody's making music, but nobody's listening. So we, 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 need, we need curators and we need venues, so we're going to try to provide some of that.